Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country, New Game Plus version. So we're in Gormont, and we're about to go to the uh, Ardenian battleship, but on our way, I figure we might as well take care of this. So we just need to kill three of these. And... bunch of them off this way. This might be the way to go. Because this also takes us back towards the quest giver. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't go easy on you. We might have more heart until now. That's Shouldn't be much of a challenge, all things considered. Aren't we interested? I'm something of an expert? We'll just keep collecting stuff on our way there. Simple enough. The ether bends as I will it. Okay. This is becoming addictive. And then we need to do one more. They're all over in that general direction. There's one. Stop running. Come on. Sorry, I'm afraid you can't go easy on you. This won't take long. There we go. So with that done, now we just go back and talk to the guy. I was trying to jump. I want to get that gather point up ahead while we're here. This is becoming nature makes a fine ally. This is becoming nature makes a fine ally. And Erudite Adventurer Dock. Okay. So, blah, blah, blah. And, boy, this is... That was a long conversation. Thank you. Okay. You can rest easy now. Bonus stuffed peppers, which we already had. Fluffy hat, which we probably also already had. What? Oh, I wasn't trying to do this. I was trying to talk to that guy. Worried about being away from Laura? Of course I am. 
Perhaps I bear some responsibility in this matter. No, it's not that. I just... Pretty unusual for you to get rattled, Jin. Huh. I understand your feelings, Jin. Well, you needn't worry. At any rate, we should probably get ourselves over to the flagship as soon as possible. And when we're finished sharing information, we can make our way back to Torgon. Sounds good. I feel like we should take care of this pronto for Jin's sake. You're only saying that because you can't stand dealing with the stuffiness. Zip it, Milton. Okay. It's not what I wanted to do, but eh, I think we missed that conversation last time. I was trying to talk to this guy here, but it looks like he can't be spoken to. Start all those soldiers of the dock and knock them flat. Huh? How long have you been there? Oh, you want to know exactly how to knock your enemies flat? It's easy. Just startle them with a fire burster and then swipe their legs out from under them. Looks like a charm. Eh? You don't have a fire burster? Well, I don't know then. Use an ardor or ether power or something. Anyway, just startle the enemy and throw them off balance and knock them over. That's all you need to do. Okay. Else doesn't look like it. Aren't we interested? Listen to the sound of my voice. Oh, okay. I was about to say something just ran on through. No, it was this guy flying on through. This is becoming a nature thing. makes a fine ally. Okay, let's see. jump over here. Oh, darn it, my stupid oversized thumb keeps jabbing the wrong button. This is becoming I'm addictive. something of an expert. Okay, so I can just swim through the cloud sea. The suspense is killing me. It keeps surprising me that I can just swim through the cloud sea. It feels like something that ought to not be in the DLC here. I mean, none of us are salvagers. You're coming with me, treasure. Okay, so here we are at the Lashem Peninsula. Another ether miasma. The ether bends as I will it. Light has some unexpected uses too. Okay, where's the gather point? There Aren't we intrepid? Aren't we intrepid? I know the drill. Another treasure chest off to the left there. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. You're coming with me, treasure. Aren't we in I know the drill. All right. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ah. ally. That blade with the uh, next part of the, you know, test my skills side quest. And it's Grigani. Grigani the blade. My driver looks like an overgrown furball, but he's really a seasoned merc. A real hard nut. Thing is, I think he's gone in over his head this time. This job's too much for him to handle. So we've been looking around for drivers with a good track record to be able to join him. You can tell just by looking that you folks aren't some lousy Sunday drivers. You must have seen real combat. Interested? But first, I want to see how you measure up in the fight. As for the rules, let's say you have to pull off a second stage blade combo, say about five times. Doesn't matter which elements you use, just do any special than any other one that's level two or above five times. And obviously, since you can rely on your allies for linking up the specials, you might want to try to mix it up. 
The time, the place, time, and target's up to you. I just want to know if your blade compass are up to scratch. I may look like a meathead, but I know my ether. I can feel someone of your power level pull off a special wherever you are. Anyway, I've talked long enough. Hope you have what it takes. Don't you worry. I've got this. Okay. No need to set that as an active quest. Okay, da da da. Let's just get all the people spoken to. I kind of forgot to do this before, but if I'm going to do, you know, the quest that I need to get everything, you know, get through the main quest, then uh, might as well get people actually listed on the community. Since Blade Kata. Now, Lyda, I don't want to rain on your parade here, but you must understand we didn't come to Gormoth for fun and games. There's absolutely no reason for us to linger at the cove any longer than we. Uh, Lyda, are you even listening? You know, thinking about it, I've always felt that uh, the blades. You know, they look like robots just as, you know, placeholders. And in reality, they probably would look like ordinary people, you know, like like our blades. You know, like Jin and Bridget and all of them. Oh, okay, I got too close and we're going to the main quest. Right. So it was the Sian forces that ravaged this area. Yes. Many troops remained here with no orders after Malos sank their homeland. We're doing our best to disarm them, but... Well, you've seen the village. Sadly, it's happened more than once. The powers that be bicker among themselves, ignoring the larger danger. And right now, that is the one thing we cannot afford. I will go take a look. Incidentally, how has Torna been faring? I'd like to tell you that the people bask in the peace of His Majesty's rule. But I'm afraid that would be a lie. Same as everywhere else, then. Yes? Torna has not escaped Malos's rampage unscathed. If that is so, allow me to offer you the Imperial Army's assistance in this time of... Don't worry about it. This is exactly the reason why Indol entrusted her to me. Ah, so you came. The future king of Torna. I'm glad I thought to send a messenger. King, don't joke about it. Rumors like that could cause trouble at home. I am merely a quester. I hold no such influence. A quester today, but tomorrow... The core's color is different. And she's a woman, too. Mm. Quite lovely indeed. Malos was all brawn and brutish strength. You worry? No, quite the contrary. Everybody knows a blade's appearance bears no relation to their power. You could be the heroine of our resistance. 
No, I won't be anyone's anything. That's fine now. I have only one thing to ask of you. To rectify the mistake I made and erase Malos from the face of the world. So that's why the returning hero, pacifier of the Borderlands, was really just... Never before has a blade broken free and rampaged like this. I can see why Indol would prefer to keep it quiet. They're even rooting support to the militia through Argentum for deniability. And then towards you. I'm just some princeling. Me. Surely, if you defeat Malos, your cover will be blown. If, indeed. But we're not in it for the glory, are we? When we're done, I'll just plow my fields in peace. Your Majesty. Some of our troops have returned to base, but... Is something wrong? They're all reporting something strange. A marauding group of routed mercenaries, trying to avoid any attention. Just remnants, hmm? That is strange. There's not much around here for them, in the way of paid work or opportunities for looting. As your majesty commanded, our men did not engage. We confirmed their bearing, then withdrew. And? Where were they going? The village outskirts. But why there? There's nothing but graveyards. <sighs> what the? Oh no. All right then. We're gonna have the whole party to fight him, aren't we? <laughs> At first, I thought to take it. But I'd made it for her, and I'd like her to keep it forever. So, the bitch is dead, is she? Shame. I had a soft spot for her. Guess you learned how to use a weapon, at least. Big change from a tiny kid trying not to piss herself in fear. You're... No! God! You remember me? How touching. A face that ugly, I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Hush! What do you want? Not that I can't imagine. I'm here to take back what's mine, kid. But before that, I'll take a bit of time to express my gratitude to you. It ain't gonna be pretty or quick. Then I'll make that blade watch as I cut you into little sticky chunks, just to make sure the last thing he feels is complete despair. I'll hold them up. You get to the others quickly. No use. Hayes, he knew about you. He brought no blades, just more mercs. Exactly. Don't worry. I'm gonna treat you real good before I get to the cutting. Okay. Kind of awkward that we have the whole party, but yeah, kind of want to get through this quick anyway. <laughs> You're stuck 
to piss me off. Oi! Surround them so they don't get away! My lady, you have to go. It's all right. He's here. You bastard! No! Had enough. What's next then? Right leg? Or the left? Or how about... <gasps> Enough. That's enough, Jim. Just leave him. For my sake. I... So you let him go. Even without his arms, he may cause you more trouble. One day. I didn't want to end it here. He might deserve it, but he did take care of my mother, so... Mm. Let's go back. I suppose I can bring myself to step foot on this flagship, after all. <laughs> My arms! My arms! Bastards! I'm... I'm gonna kill them! Every last one of them! It can be hard to understand, but the thing about abuse and abusers is that generally, you know, the people who they hurt when they get away, all they really want is to just not have them around anymore. Anything beyond that just means getting close to them again. And, you know, it's a personal thing. Some people would want to do that for, you know, justice or revenge or whatever, but a lot of people would just want them to be gone. Just not see them anymore. Yeah, it really depends on you know, how you feel about it. Anyway, 
all that done. Hmm. It occurs to me we could go around and talk to a few more people. You know what? Why not? I mean, we're level 99. We could just... Aren't we intrepid? Nature makes a fine ally. We could just uh, literally do a hop, skip, and a jump over here. Do some stuff here at Cooley Lake. This is becoming addictive. Listen to the sound of my voice. Ah, this is new. This place would make a perfect base of operations. Anything here? Another chat. Hmm. Uh, I'm not really so keen on boarding that flagship. Relax. I don't think it'll be as uptight on there as you'd expect. You think? Well, if you say so. Just be wary of you know who. Who? Oh, a certain, just a certain snob who's always giving me the stink eye because I'm not acting with the proper decorum. Ah, right. I can definitely see Bridget being strict on etiquette. Yeah, I'm not so hot on all that stuff, so I tread carefully. I think we missed that one last time, too. Okay, will the rain be gone? Yes, no more rain. Still kind of overcast, but aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Not raining. All right, fun pun. That nasty article. Your friends, listen to woes of pun pun. Ferocious crusta. Okay. Rotten monster set up on pun pun and pun pun's special napping place. Pun pun's blood boils with desire for vengeance. Pun pun has certain values that prevent from taking up arms, peace loving, nap loving, and so on. Also, coward. But still, Pun Pun would like to see Grin wipe from Rude Monster's face. Pun Pun cries for justice. Take Pun Pun's place and give Monster's friends right good drubbing. Monster not feel so tough when little pals are done in. Will reflect on error of ways. Mirrors crust up, okay. Alright, Pun Pun, we get the idea. Can we get started now? I hope we'll be able to help. Okay, so if we just uh, fight a few cross dips, but not this one apparently. Huh. Or is this one? Oh, this guy's actually kind of soft. You're really quite wise in the way of the world, aren't you, people? Think you could teach me a few anecdotes? <laughs> Are you sure about that? He's quite the stern taskmaster. If you wish, Laura, by tomorrow, please transcribe 100 pages of one of the Tornan epics, write a treatise on an Ardanian philosopher of your choice, and read a volume of history. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, the dog ate all of my literature. Okay, there's one. These guys should be no problem. If your heart you read my mind, the rear guard would be. Hit them with your elemental weakness. S9, wow. The ether bends as I will it. Okay. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. I should pick up the collection point. This is becoming addictive. Melosian honey, okay. Everyone. 
everyone. This is less than tenable. Alright, that's that one done. Was that a treasure chest? No. Actually, with that bug over there, I briefly glanced that bug over the top of the rock and it looked like a treasure chest from that angle. Yay, victory! No rotten monsters, no bashy smashy consequences of not pun bothering. Now Pun Pun and can enjoy naps with no fear to heart's content. Much thanks to friends. How reliable. Now Pun Pun can nap in safety and undisturbance. If friends ever need help with, say, mowing of lawn, Pun Pun happy to repay debt, so not to hesitate. Okay. We completed How about that one. Next time you help yourselves. We completed that one earlier than previous playthrough. Monster bashing really needs mighty hand of driver, thank thanks Pun Pun. Not a job for sleepy little Nopon. But in exchange of monster bashing, Pun Pun will teach friends clever technique for future monster bashes. When an enemy is knocked to floor in battle, this is a good time to use technique to launch enemy. Boof, launch silly on floor enemy. This very exhilarating technique. Friends should try it. Sets fur on end. How does pacifist Pun Pun know? Pun Pun, read about it in book. Cannot talk to this guy. Okay. Alright, let's go... Up here. I think there's, I don't know, one or two people I can speak to up here at the camp. You know, just to get them on the list. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Mm, can't talk to these two. Zealous Warrior Elba. Rog! I've come up with a new special move. It's called the Elba Burning Slash. What? No, not Elba. Elba! And not Burning Trash. Burning Slash. Like with a sword. Just forget it. By the way, did you know you can chain up specials if you have allies? Amazing. There are certain chains of elements and whatnot that work especially well. I've no idea about these chains myself, but one day I'll be the greatest combo master Gormoth's ever seen. Man, the first playthrough, I didn't meet this guy until pretty late, so I think I missed that line of dialogue before. I think that's all that's around here. Okay. So... Let's go back to Lash and Co. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Ah. And once again I get launched into the, the main quest. Well, here we are. Welcome aboard, my honored guests. It's funny, I was expecting to be all glitz and glamour, halls of gold, diamond chandeliers and all that. But there's nothing like that here. I like this much better. It all depends on the country. Some of the nobility like Tropolin style, and believe me, they don't go halfway. More Ardain, on the other hand, is a military state. They take a more pragmatic approach. Just as their emperor must be a masterful driver, so must their diplomatic vessels be armored for war. That is the Ardanian way. So long as this mission is not a covert one, every flagship under our command must be a throne I may ascend. And if the leader is the first to fall, what then? Jin! It's all right, Lor. He makes a valid point. That is precisely why Aegean and Bridget, the jewels of the Empire, have been bestowed upon me. Your Majesty. We will do everything in our power to protect you, Your Majesty, even at the cost of our lives. I'm blessed to have such loyal companions. <coughs> companions. That was a weird running gate. Your Majesty, we have urgent news. His Majesty is currently entertaining guests. I would entreat you not to incur his displeasure. Ah, my humble apologies, Your Majesty. 
It is all right. I trust this news is of special importance. Please give us your tidings. Uh, of course, Your Majesty. As you know, we've applied strict regulations to our scout patrols in light of the recent tragedy at Torgoth. Well, one of our patrols happened upon a young Gormadi near the camp at Siegel Fell, but they lost track of him. So, you think he might be a survivor? We believe so. We can send out further patrols immediately if His Majesty assents. I see. I'm sorry we had to keep you waiting. Please go ahead. Yes, Your Majesty. I would like for our country to shelter as many refugees as falls within our means. I do hope we can be found quickly. Wait, we should go with them. What for? Their army's not exactly short-staffed. He's just a kid. He'll be scared witless of soldiers. Of course he's going to run away. lore has got a point. Very well, let's head out. We would do well to make haste before he strays any further afield. Thanks, guys. You're a bunch of do-gooders. It's going to land us in trouble someday. Okay, I forgot about May this. May I offer my assistance? Said his active quest, sure. Okay. Emiss ah, the Emissary of Justice thing. Prince Adam, pleasure to see you again. Is MacMac most trusted intelligence operator? Prince grows so big and gorgeous. Ah, if only MacMac was 30 years younger. Just kidding, of course. Where was MacMac? Ah, yes. Case of poisonous substance dealing. Dum Dums not realize how dangerous that is. Poisonous substance is red polynor. Some Dum Dums stupid enough to buy, and dealer rakes in gold. Mac Mac is on the trail of Dum Dums, but Dum Dums always seem to be one step ahead of Mac Mac. Which brings Mac Mac to request: Prince Adam help efforts of Mac Mac to seize red polynorbs? Polynorb cargo stored in green barrels. If friends see green barrels, just smash into pieces on spot. Under no circumstances use polynorbs, or Mac Mac personally show up and give spankings. Is clear? Mac Mac will return to Torna in the meantime and gather more intel on Dum Dums. Will personally expose Dum Dums for wrongdoings in name of Prince Adam. That about it from side of Mac Mac. Please look for green barrels and retrieval of polynorms. Okay, so Let's all of the green barrels, all of the green barrels from the previous playthrough remain smashed. Oh, I didn't want to set that as active. I wonder if that means we can finish this as soon as we reach Oresco, or do we have to beat Malos once again? Oh, and look, she has a quest. Aspiring Salvager Dudan. Meh, Dudan sinking in doldrums. If not deliver quickly, partner sure to flip lid. Meh, meh, travelers! Please listen to Dudan's woes. Dudan is Salvager by trade, as friends see, his entire livelihood. Dudan been diving off Lasham Cove with wood cylinders in effort to find specific treasure. But Dudan... <clears throat> All Dudan find is useless collectibles, value of scrap, more worth to throw away than keep. Probably not fault of probably fault of wood cylinders, not really built to last. Have heard salvagers in Moradain use shiny silver cylinders or some such. Dudan not have luxury to use such high-tech equipment, but want to change that. It may be asking too much, but could Dudan trouble travelers for helping? Would need friends to collect apple lamps and alloy sheeting. Then Dudan can dive in deep into clouds, see with silver cylinder on back, and glide to treasure like Sleeky Serpon. If friends do this, we'll give all of leftover useless... Ah, no, sorry. Mean very, very precious bat hinges as reward. Dudan counting on you. We ought to have all that stuff. We shall handle it. Okay. Yep, we have it all. Yes, it's all here. Plenty enough apple lamps and alloy sheeting. Now Dudan applies self to making of silver cylinder. Will not be moment. Is all finished. Dudan, in fact, rather skilled at handiwork, so not tough job. Now is big moment of truth. Time to take special Dudan style silver cylinder for dip. Friends watch and learn. Spectacular treasure is waiting for discovery, and I just noticed that Minoth is there in the in the party. I mean Technically he is in the party, but story wise we haven't met him yet. Here Dudan go. Meh. 
Meh, meh, meh. Should be spectacular treasure, all right, but Dudan found and followed by a big bad monster on way back. Sorry, friends. Could dispose of Tac Tacitus Urchon for Dudan? Is maybe no other way to open treasure otherwise? Thankings in advance. Uh oh. I think we've been spotted. Blow down. You really do have a lot of trouble keeping your power in check, don't you, Mithra? It's not my fault my enemies fall over when I so much as look at them funny. I would rather not cross swords with her again if I can avoid it. Okay, then. Open the treasure trove on Dudan's behalf. You're coming with me, treasure. Gravitonic Clutch. A little bit of money. Not like I needed it though. At long last, Dudan finally get paws on Gravitonic Clutch. Now to take up to partner and finish off project. If get hold of certain thing in great number, Dudan can say goodbye to his life slaving under Cloud Sea. Dudan return to Torna now. Greatest of thanking to friends. Ah. Dudan leave collectibles here as reward, like promised. Hope will come in handy. Why thanks? Thank friends for helping Dudan with Get Rich Quick Scheme. Dudan guessed that mean is now actually rich? Enough rich to eat delicious meat every day? Probably not. Aren't you glad you asked us? Okay. Fourth decade soldier. Majesty, we've increased the surveillance patrol, but we still yet to find the Gormati boy. A sighting was reported at the camp at Seagull Fell. It's unlikely that he's moved far from there. Most materials can just be gathered, but there are some things you can only get by defeating monsters. A handyman I met at a restaurant told me that. Apparently he has a hard time getting some stuff he needs for work. I commiserated with him and told him how hard it was to deal with Leo sometimes. He was a nice guy. two on the list. Oh, weary travelers, surely you of all people must know the meaning of a bond that sweetens over time. You, drivers and blades, fight together with time and with time your hearts and minds become one. It's so beautiful. After all, a shared action is worth far more than a thousand words could ever express. Such a bond is only natural, but how can I sweeten my bond with a woman who does not believe in love? Oh, the sweet pain that pricks my chest to stitch her name there in my very flesh. Love is pain, my friends. Especially when dealing with a soppy ass like you. Get. How was my steering? Uh, that bad? I'm from Torna, born and raised in the capital. Couldn't get on with my eccentric dad, so I left home and became a captain's apprentice. The air is good in Gormont, at least. Torna's got plenty of trees, but around the capital is mostly desert. Clouds of sand don't make for good breathing. I like my new job. It means I can go to all sorts of places. Ever run up against a monster you fought plenty of times, except this time it's proving to be a real toughie? Well, you might want to take a look at each other's elements and what your weaknesses are. Because if your element is fire and the enemy's is water, you're going to get your arse handed to you. Elements can easily spell the difference between victory and defeat, so pay close attention to them. Okay, got her on the list. Now then. Let's talk to Bathane here. War with the Seans, raid by raids by Malice. I hope Moradin can make it through. But, I worry what would happen if we couldn't maintain our strength. We're supposed to be His Majesty's vanguard. In the face of this kind of threat, we ought to be looking for some fresh energy to bolster our defense. Huh? Where did you guys spring from? What? Why do we need to bolster our defense, you say? Surely that's obvious. One only has two choices in life, success through strength or weeping and weakness. Well, that's the world the way it is right now, at least. So if there's something I can do to make His Majesty a little stronger... What I mean to say is, I want to be a strong and effective soldier for the good of my homeland. 
And even if we're up against an opponent like Malice, I still want to do what I can. That's right. That's right. I could probably learn a thing or two from you guys. You look like you could handle it yourselves. Maybe you'll do me the honor of giving me a bout? But don't hold back. No need to sugarcoat it. Just come at me like it's a real thing. That's the sort of mindset that we'll need if we're going to have a hope of standing up to the Aegis. I'll be known as the best shot in the whole of the Imperial Army. Underestimate me at your peril. Here I come. I said I'd do it, so consider it done. No need to set this one as the active quest. Uh oh, I think we've been spotted. Um, right when the fight started. Okay. Much easier the second time than the first. Okay, you're even stronger than you look. Such incredible power. I'm the best sniper in the Imperial Army, but you made light work of me. You've shown us all up. It's not just your physical strength, either. It's the way you fight as driver and blade, that incredible synergy. I get the feeling your true strength lies in the connection that you have. You've shown me the way. From now on, I won't see myself as a lone wolf anymore, but as part of a larger whole. I'll think of my friends and all the Ardenian people and all the future generations. I'll make my goal in life to be someone who's loved and respected by my people. This battle has taught me what I really ought to be aiming for in life. I hardly have the words to thank you. That was an easy one. Thank you. I vow one day to become the kind of soldier that others can look up to. My memory will stand as a monument for my efforts. Just you wait and see. Okay, that was easy enough. Aren't you glad you asked us? Okay, Hassan. What do you think of the state of the art Ardenian flagship? Pretty nifty, huh? The only downside is the modern tech makes us mechanics cry. Every time I an anchor and import, I'm always so busy with repairs, haven't been home in such a long time. The longer you spend flying around all rest, the more you start to yearn for the taste of home. I tried to make a recipe my mother used to make from memory, but it didn't go too well. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have someone who can cook in your party, would you? If I could tell you the recipe, do you think you could cook up some food from my hometown, she'll say? Excellent. Looking forward to some delicious home-cooked food. Mmm, I can taste it already. Don't you worry. I've got this. Okay. So I think first is Jin, if I remember correctly. But it's too good, so then we have Mithra cook it. You're coming with me, Treasure. Clear structure to this See? I knew you could do it. Alright. Now we gotta talk to Lyda. Get her thing going. Get a grip, I beg you. What's the use of worrying before you've even set off? No, see, that's the worst part. I thought I'd have the courage by now, but it's just... Is something the matter? You seem troubled. Who are you, then? Oh, this is great. Kata, look, we can just ask these people for help. Are we really going to go through all this again? If I could interject, why don't you just tell us what's wrong, and we'll take it from there, hmm? Ah, I see. So Light has only just become a driver. That's right, so I come to Gormont to explore around, hoping I get a bit stronger. And that's why we're asking strangers for their help as soon as we arrive. Makes sense. Is that how little faith you have in me? Hey, that's not fair. You know I just... Uh... Well, how about this? After you head off, we'll follow you at a distance. So we can step in if things get ropey. But if it looks like you're managing on your own strength, we'll leave well alone. Does that sound good? Huh, <sighs> that seems reasonable enough. It does? Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. I knew we'd end up stepping into something like this. Come off it, Mithra. Our meeting here was the work of fate, after all. Before you go, we should establish a clear goal. We can't keep providing aid forever. For the time being, let's say we'll head for the Serene Springside. It's meant to be somewhere nearby. Hey, is any ideas? I've heard before that it's somewhere on the Titan's back. It shouldn't be far from here. Right on. In that case, we're off. Time to move backward. Uh, I mean forward. Uh, you know what I mean. 
I'm sorry she managed to get you roped into this. Here I go! My first adventure! I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Right. So we also need to cook something for her. I don't really remember what it is though. My stomach so empty uh, needs spicy food do I have any uh, want to eat white hot eggy curry or a spicy scorpion cookie hmm I don't have the curry Cell magma saute, maybe. Herb. Okay. Let's go to Seagull Fell, which is where we're headed anyway. Aren't we impressed? And while we're there, we can use the camp to cook something for her. This is becoming a listen to the sound of my voice. And here we go. Eagle fell. Well, here's the campsite of Seagull Fell. Now about that boy. Hey, isn't that him? Whoa! Hey wait, we won't hurt you. We mean you no harm. Please, stay. You you won't hurt me. I see you've decided to trust us, for now at least. We're affiliated with the Ardanian forces. We didn't come to bring you mischief. We know what happened to Torgoth, and we've been acting wholeheartedly to protect the refugees. You've escaped from Torgoth too, perhaps. That's right. Can you tell us your name? It's Kali. Young Kali, do you know Lasham Cove? The boat of my countrymen is moored there. I know it. I know the boat too. It's huge. Will you journey with us, young man? We can offer. We can also offer a hot meal. Hmm. What's wrong? You don't want to get on the boat? No, it's not that. It's I've lost Kelly. I mean, my sister. I have to find her. That's important stuff, kid. Why didn't you tell us right away? I'll tell you what, you run ahead to Lashman Cove and wait by the boat, we'll find your sister for you. Well, I never. We promise you that, Cal Kali. We'll find her for you. Can I really trust you? Yeah, of course. Any idea where we might find the sister of yours? Actually, she likes watching the big boats at Lashman Cove, so maybe she'll be somewhere you can see them all coming and going. Then perhaps we should begin a at a high up place that overlooks the cove. Okay, I'll wait at the harbor, but please find my sister. Okay, we got that part done. Uh, I'd really hoped to get through Gormont in this episode, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Okay, let's see. Another chat, eh? What was Kali's sister called again? Kelly? Kelly, yeah. So Kelly went to look at the boat all on her own. I guess. Pretty gutsy for a little girl to travel through the wilds of Gormont on her own like that. She's probably got bigger stones than you, Mick. Shut up. I could do it, no problem. Sure you could. You wouldn't do it alone? Um, obviously. I could do it blindfold. You don't sound so sure. Well, I'll prove it then. Come on, boys. Play nice. We will. Sorry. 
Milton started it. Shot at you. Right. Boys being boys. Don't spoil your appetite before I'm done. Let's see. I wonder if she would like this. Yeah, I have plenty for that. It came together nicely. And uh, just in case, she wanted this was on her list also. It's ready. Okay, so hopefully that'll be enough food for Lila. Though now that I think of it, just in case it's not. My cooking will make you howl for more. And that's a promise. There is the spicy scorpion cookie. Huh, okay. Barbed tomatoes are still a little bit rare, but... Hunger is the best spice, right? I got enough so now. So this should be delicious. Okay. Can we talk to that guy over there? No. All right. Excavation. You're coming with me. Something's treasure. buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. You're coming with me, treasure. Oh right. Also, I wanted to cook that stuff for the Ardanian guy back on the ship. Forgot about that. Okay, so Don't Jin. spoil your appetite before I'm done. Where was it? Was it Jin? Yeah. Yeah, it was Chilsin. So, this thing. It came together nicely. Okay. Now, let's get back to Lida. Oh. Zenma. Have you ever noticed all the guff washing up ashore? Machine parts and what have you. It happens a lot in Gormont and in Torna. I'm an adventurer, by the by. I travel around all rest searching for the stuff. You see, to the untrained eye, they just look like scrap, but there's plenty of value inside. To get it, though, you need a tool called a Seeker designed by top engineers. But I think my Seeker's broken or something. I was planning on using it to pick up lots of parts all over Gormont, but looks like that won't be happening now. I don't want to just wait around twiddling my thumbs here, though. Maybe you can go instead of me? Try and collect some machine parts for me? What do you think? I don't mean to be nosy, but you're a tough bunch, right? Drivers, blades? Well, searching in monster-infested places uh, should be right up your street. Look on your face tells me that you're interested. Great, that settles it. First of all, you have to build a silver seeker. Once you got one of those, you'll be able to retrieve the useful parts from the scrap. To make a silver seeker, you'll need a crabble carapace, which you can get at the Serene Springside nearby. If you know all of this, why don't you just make a new one? Once you have a seeker, blah, blah, blah. Bat hinge and scarlet coil. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Whew. That was... We couldn't very well leave it alone, could we? No need to set this as active. I'm sure I have the stuff. Ah, so you found them. One bat hinge and a scarlet coil. I knew you'd pull through for me. The machine parts you can get in Gormont are a bit different to the ones in Torna, aren't they? Oh yeah, hold on to that seeker. With your skills, you'll be able to collect lots more parts than I ever would. You might even be able to recover some gold machine parts too. They'll be more valuable. But to recover those parts, you'll need a more efficient seeker. You better get to making one. Okay, thank you. You brought me some nice parts. Thank you. Okay. That resolved. A happy conclusion. Okay. Now back to Lida. Stuff some more food into it. Oh, um, you know, I really should have had this is Mithra cook that Ardanian recipe while I was there. Ha. Okay, well. If I hurry... Let's see what this does for me. 
Gets her all the way up to full. Okay. Phew. Man, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for keeping me alive. You sure got an appetite. I'm not sure where you put all that. Hee <laughs> hee. My stomach's never let me down. And also, I love spicy stuff so much that the more I ate, the more pumped I got for this whole drivering deal. Ugh, just hearing you mention it makes my insides royal. Hey Lyda, if you think you can laugh it off, you don't know me very well. Can you even imagine what would have happened if these guys weren't here to help? Uh, I'm sorry, Kata. Um, Lyda, I think Kata's just worried about you. As her driver, you're important to her. Obviously, she wants you to do well and to be well. Kata, is that true? Let's head for that big tree next. No answer, huh? If you even think about collapsing again, I'll name this place after you. Lida Oasis is a nice ring to it, don't you think? Awkward. Um. Jin, do something. I think this is beyond us now. Oh, I see. And people will remember her failure forever. Naturally. The legend of the bungling green horde driver who brought shame on her blade by collapsing from lack of spicy food. Stop it. Don't say stuff like that. I might die from sheer embarrassment. Okay, wait up, Kata. I'm coming. Thanks, Mithra. That could have gone a lot worse. Indeed, your less than tactful comment might have saved the day. Uh, what? Hey, now. Okay, we're a bit past the one hour mark, but... Let's see if we can get this done. From this close up, it looks even more impressive. You bet, it's so majestic, it calms me right down. And it reminds me of my father. Is that so? He must be a great man, then. Hehe, <laughs> he's a builder, my dad. Sure, he's a bit grumpy and stubborn, but he's someone you can rely on. Me? I'd like to be like that, too. I want to get strong and sturdy and stop disappointing Kata all the time. Hmm. We're calling this tree the Way Tree. That's a nice name. A bit simple, though, no? Wait, my dad's name is Waiten. I see what you did there. It's a name that will not only remind you of him, but also the way you wish to follow, see? Man, I thought this at the watering hole, but Kata's really good at naming stuff, huh? It's like a superpower. I have to, don't I? Otherwise, casual travelers like you would never remember what's where. Hee <laughs> hee, that's so nice of you. Um, sorry to put you out, everyone, but would you mind if we went a bit further? Like, maybe the top of that big root. It's a little far. Are you sure you're up to it? You really needn't push yourself. Right now, I'm feeling capable. And if I get turned around, I'll just look out for this tree. Well, if that's going to help you grow, I can't see a reason to say no. Heh <laughs> heh, sorry, and thank you, Kata. Right then, we're off. Okay see if we can just get this over with quickly. I think Kata's actually over there, but we can still go up here and then walk on over there to meet her. Yep, there they are. Lyda and Kata. What happened? Did you get injured somewhere? I did it! I flipping did it! I finally whooped a monster's butt! Lida, please calm down. You said finally. What exactly have you been doing before? Oh, she's been skillfully avoiding them. This is her first official victory. Hey, Kata, do I look buff now or what? After beating one monster? Just listen to yourself. And even then, it looks like the poor guy might have just tripped and fallen onto your weapon. Uh, so I'm useless after all, then. Lida, take a look at that. 
Whoa, is that Lasham Cove? It's a huge natural harbor, as you remember, and yet looking at it from here, it appears tiny. Don't focus so much on your strength, but just look at how far we've come. I'm proud of you for that. Kaida, you, you're so nice. What's that face you're pulling? Seriously. Seriously, all this noise about a simple exploration mission. Everybody starts somewhere. Thinking back to when we met them, isn't this success enough? I believe Lida may yet grow into a fine driver indeed. It's not every day that Jin offers praise like that, is it? That pretty much settles it. She'll do great things one day. Everyone, thank you for all your assistance. After we've gone around Gormod, I think we'll find some other place to explore. Then we might meet again somewhere, mightn't we? Very good. On that day, it may be you helping us out. Oh, don't make fun of me. I don't think he is. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that day. We'll be cheering you on, you two. You didn't have to, but thanks. You helped me grow a bit as a little bit as a driver. Thanks a bunch. I wonder where in the world Kate and I will go next. Thanks for that. Thanks to you, Light has taken her first step towards becoming a fully fledged driver. She's got a long way to go yet, but she'll get there one day. Okay then. One more stop and then I'll call it the end of the episode. I'm just happy we made someone happy. Okay, so let's take a quick... Well, I was going to go to the... I was going to go to a different campsite, but you know what? This is good enough. I'm just going to cook one more thing and then head back to Lasham Cove. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Come on, where's the... That was weird. The campsite symbol just kind of vanished. Okay, craft... Mithra... My cooking will make you howl for more. And that's a promise. Chosanian Kasha DX, and we have plenty for it. Hmm. Maybe I missed a step? Alright. We're done here. And now, back to Lashroom Cove. Um. As soon as it loads back in... That took a while. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. All right, viewers, I believe we've done enough for now. I really did want to get all the way through Gormont in this episode, but uh, I guess that's going to be next time. Thanks for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country, New Game Plus version. In the next episode, hopefully we'll finally finish up in Gormont, get off to Torna, and then um, proceed from there, I guess. Hopefully we'll be able to get through the Aletta region without too much trouble. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.